hello and welcome back to my channel i want to thank all my subscribers for your constant love and support i really appreciate you guys and if you're new to this channel or this is the first time you're coming across my channel and if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so whenever i upload a video you'll be notified so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my shrimps provincial it's so easy and simple to make guys so if you are interested to see how i make my shrimps provincial please stay tuned so here is my shrimp i went ahead and cleaned it and deveined the shrimps as well and i also the uh, added some seasoning to it i added black and white pepper some aromat and mixed herbs and here i've got some chopped tomato thyme mixed herb and some chili flakes black pepper and tomato paste the chili flakes is optional guys so here in the plate i've also got some red chili sweet pepper and one fresh tomato I like to use fresh tomatoes, but today I only have one. And here I've got Maggie cube and some basil. The basil is looking like that because it was in the freezer, guys. I've got some spring onions, which is also optional. Some garlic, half a lemon, one onion, and some parsley. So basically, this is everything that I'll be needing to cook my shrimp. So let's get started, guys. So firstly, I'll just chop my onions quickly and then I'll set that aside. And I'll also just go ahead and crush my garlic. I used about three cloves of garlic. Normally, I like to remove the middle bit of my garlic before crushing it. So I'll just set this aside as well. So in the pan here, I'm just going to add some slice of butter and I'll leave the butter to melt before adding my shrimp. So normally you have to wait until the butter starts to sizzle. Like you see all those small bubbles there. That means the butter is hot enough for the shrimp to be added. So now I'm just going to add my shrimp and I'll fry it for about one minute or even less. Just going to fry it quickly on both sides and then I'll remove it. Normally some people like to add their onion, garlic and stuff while the shrimp is still in the pan. But I don't like to do that because I don't want to overcook my shrimp. So I will have to remove my shrimp before adding my onions. So now I'm just going to fry the onions for about two minutes before adding my garlic as well. So once I add the garlic, I have to keep on mixing it for another one minute before I can add my spices. So now I'm going to add some thyme. You can use any spice of your choice, guys. And I'm going to add some black pepper. Don't over add because mind you have already added some to my shrimp. And now I'm adding some mixed herbs and some aromat here. Like I said, you can add any spice of your choice. So I'm just going to add my sweet pepper. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste. So I'm just going to mix all this together and leave the tomato to cook. I'm going to cover the pan so that the onion and tomato will cook. So I'm going to add my chili pepper and fresh tomatoes. So I ended up adding just the one fresh tomato. I didn't use the can. So I'm just going to add one maggi cube because I've added some aromat. So I don't want to add too much salt. So I'll just be adding one cube. And I'm going to add my pepper flakes. Like I said, this is optional. 
I just want to make it a little bit spicy. So now I'm going to add one te teaspoon of lemon juice. And then I will mix that. So I'm going to leave it for about one minute before adding my spring onions. Now I'm just going to add my spring onion. And now I will add my shrimps as well. Just going to mix the shrimps into the sauce. And this is my basil, guys. And I'm going to add my parsley as well. So at this point, I'm just going to leave it to cook for about another two minutes and it should be ready. So here I went ahead and peeled two plantains I just uh, wanted to add some plantain to my dish so I'm going to add a little bit of aromat I normally like to add maggi or aromat to my plantain just to give it a little bit of taste so that's just what I'm doing here and then I will mix it together make sure that all the plantain gets the aromats you know just to get some salt aromat is is basically some kind of salt seasoning so i always like to add it when i'm frying plantain so i'm just going to fry my plantain quickly here it's all ready so i'm just going to take it out and set it aside and the other thing that i like to do also whenever i'm Eat, trying uh, to do veggies I like to add my veggies into like butter and garlic so I'm just going to add this garlic into the pot I've already added a slice of butter so I'm going to mix it for about a minute or less something like that not more than a minute but make sure you keep on mixing it because you don't want to burn the garlic so we just want everything you know like to mix together and uh, give it a nice aroma you know when you mix garlic and butter it's really nice and now i'm going to add my veggies and just mix it together with the butter and garlic and i'm going to be adding also a little bit of aroma just a little bit guys so if you're someone like me who doesn't like veggies that much this is the best way that you can cook it and make you to eat it so i'm also going to add some mixed herbs so basically this is how i do my veggies whenever i want to eat them this way i can eat as much as i can here is our end product guys this is how it's looking look at that guys it looks so nice so this is our shrimp provincial with veggies and a touch of plantain look at it guys it looks so nice and trust me it tastes so yummy so if you like this video guys please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like i said if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so whenever i upload you will be notified so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace out